So how does SSH or Secure Shell Passwordless Authentication work? This is what we're going to learn in this video. Stay tuned for after the video for a hands on tutorial. So if you have an SSH client, you can connect to a machine with an SSH server by providing the password of the requested user. If the password is correct, the server will let you in and you can SSH into the machine. This is however frowned upon because passwords can be guess, rainbowed or brute forced. That is why we go back to the good old public key cryptography for our help. Watch my video on encryption here to learn more about symmetric and asymmetric key encryption. The client in this case will generate two keys, public key and a private key. The public key can be safely shared, but the private key must be kept secure. The client then shares its public key with the server to whom it wishes to establish passwordless authentication with. This is done through an existing authentication session, of course. Next time the client wants to connect to the server, it presents its public key with the wish to connect. Then the server will look through its authenticated keys. It will find that key, but that is not enough. The server will actually encrypt a message using the public key and send it back to the client in order to prove that it actually owns the private key that only can decrypt that message. If the client manages to decrypt that message, that means it owns the private key and it will let it in. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more. And if you want to see how I enable passwordless authentication on my Raspberry Pi, you may stay a little bit longer for that. All right, guys. So my goal here is to log in into my Raspberry Pi, which is located on the domain called Raspberry pi 2local and if I now if I want to log in I have to provide my password obviously and that will log me in but I want to change that I want to use the public key cryptography to in order to log into my Raspberry Pi without providing a password so I'm going to exit here and the next thing I'm going to do is to generate an SSH key using the SSH dash key gen command and if you have SSH downloaded you you should have that command and but I'm going to do provide the cryptography i'm going to use rsa for that and i'm just going to enter this will generate two keys the public and the private key and we're going to go with the default i'm going to hit enter i'm not going to provide a password because i don't need a password for that and the next thing i now have two keys let's take a look at those keys so if i do go to my home directory there will be a folder called ssh and you can see that now i have two keys this is the private key that you shouldn't give it to anyone and this is the public key that you can sh safely share so the next step i can do is to copy the public key to the to my raspberry pi and obviously i have to authenticate in order to do that the, uh, luckily there is a nice command that we can use in ssh to find and copy the public key without me actually manually doing that and it's called ssh copy id and once i provide my raspberry pi local id I will just hit enter and this process will basically copy the public key to the Raspberry Pi. And you can see that I am prompted to enter the password. That's just a one time thing to actually authenticate. And once I do that, you can see that number of keys added one and that's it. So the next time I do SSH Pi Raspberry Pi 2 dot local, you can see that I did not have to enter the password and I am logged in automatically all right guys that's it for me today thank you so much for watching subscribe and hit the like button and uh, i'm gonna see you in the next one you guys stay awesome goodbye